Hi everybody. I'm going to finally do the video on the bedding that we use for the Oliver. Um, we're kind of in a mess here because we're actually packing, getting ready to take off for, for next week. So um, I'm going to do this. I wasn't sure how I was going to do this, but we were going to make one bed or make show it making the beds. But I think that's, you know, who wants to see the, who wants to see that cardio workout? So I'm just going to show you what I got and the sheets that we use and also about the comforter. Um, let's start with um, the sheets. My favorite sheets are these from, they're from AB Lifestyle. And um, what I like about them is they do make them specifically for the Oliver. So if you have the twin beds, um, John, if you want to show this, their sheets come made specifically, you'll get a right one and a left one. And if you can see up here, there's like these two darts here. And this is the waterproof mattress I got because I have a dog and I don't don't trust her. <laughs> uh, but they have these two darts here, and and so it fits nicely around the curve. So this is the the waterproof mattress, and um, I paid a um, hundred and nineteen dollars for for two of a, for two of them. Um, so I got one on each bed. And please excuse the um, director here. <laughs> uh, so I did get the waterproof mattress covers and then the sheets now I gotta say and this is this is a true statement I am a I'm a sheet snob I love nice sheets I love comfortable sheets I use bowl and branch in my home um, so I'm really really fussy about sheets I don't like wrinkles in my sheets but I've learned to kind of relax that a bit because you know we're camping and so our glamping I should say so um, I have to say these sheets um, I first found them kind of a little bit stiff. I wasn't super thrilled with them, um, but the more I wash them, the, the better they get. I think they soften up quite a bit. So um, I'm not unhappy with them. In fact, I will probably get another set because um, they're just so, make it so much easier to, to make the bed, to fit the mattresses, and, and I really like that. And they come in a, a whole bunch of colors. So the mattresses, um, the sheets rather, I'm sorry, they come in 30 by 75 you get an Oliver it says Oliver Elite you get one left and one right and they are marked on the sheet which one goes with which so they're also the sheets are also made with the darts in the front to go around the curve and then they fit you know one for the right one for the left so and then I want to show you I saw somebody say on one of the I think it was on the Facebook page um, they didn't like that they couldn't stick their feet out because if you look here on the fitted sheet, the fitted sheet is, is um, what's it called, honey? It's got elastic around elastic it. Elastic fit, yeah, elastic it's, it's, fitted. And the, so the fitted sheet on the bottom has elastic. However, that elastic is only to here. So I'm a, I'm a stick my foot out at night too. So you do still have plenty of room to, if you want to stick your, your foot out the side. So you don't feel like you're trapped, you know, you don't feel like you're stuck in a sleeping bag, so to speak. So I, and I like that because it makes it, you know, pretty easy to make the bed and they stay on. So I'm happy with them. I like them. And if, John, you want to take a shot of this, you can see for the, um, the two mattress pads and the two sets of sheets, it came to $258. So... Just to, and I believe that's still the same price. I put the link. I'll put the link down below to their website. Now that being said, um, the comforter. Again, excuse the mess. Um, I originally bought this comforter and I got it on Amazon, and I bought twin sizes, and I had twin sizes on both beds, but the twin size was too big. I mean, it was just a lot of material. You know, I folded it almost a quarter and half to make the bed and it was bulky and kind of messy so I didn't I didn't really like that so I went and bought another um, queen size I bought a queen size and I had it took it to the tailor and I had it cut in half the queen size is 90 by 90 and these beds are 30 by 75 so I wasn't sure whether to go with the king or to go with um, the queen because the king is 106 wide but I thought um, 45 by 90 would would be good and it is and if you can see here I mean I have it up to the wall now you can tuck it in you know if you want to tuck it in but you still have plenty of room to let it hang if you want to hang so 
I think that worked out really well. It's just your discretion whether you want a little bit more space to hang over the end, or I thought I think this works out really well, and it works out, like I said, to 45 by 90. Um, so I'm really happy with that. That was a queen size um, comforter that I just had cut in half, and now I have um, two comforters that, that fit, and I have two twins that are up in storage. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so anyway, so that's my tip on that. Um, I also have, I always carry spare sheets because, you know, you, you should always have spare sheets. Um, I have not bought another set of these yet, which I will do, I think. I'm gonna, I think I am going to buy another set of these. But I wanted just a easy set of sheets, just spare sheets, just in case, you know, something or someone or something has an accident. So I got these. Um, these are cotton jersey camp cot sheets they are 30 by 75 so they will they fit the mattress perfectly um i i tried them on they do fit now i can't vouch to the comfort or the longevity of them because they're actually my spare sheets i haven't slept on them yet so um i just got them to have a spare but i got these on amazon they were inexpensive i don't remember i'll put the link down below i want to say they were maybe 40 45 dollars um, but they're super soft. They feel real soft. And so I got these. These, Like I said, these are 30 by 75, which is what this is. Now, I know a couple of people have mentioned Betty's. Um, Betty's are, um, it's almost like a, a one-piece uh, bedding. That's your sheet. It's your comforter. It's everything all in one. And although they're not made specifically for this size bed, a lot of people like them. They just tuck them in the extra material. And I like them too. And in fact, I, my first thought was to get a Betty, but they didn't make the color scheme or don't have one in the colors I wanted yet. So um, I've heard a lot of people really like the Betty. So that's another thing you can look into or check the forum and read, you know, ask for tucking Betty's and you can read more about, about Betty's. People use those. People use um, straps. They use regular sheets and buy the straps. I'm not about the straps because I think it's enough to make the bed. I want, I just want everything to fit and I don't want to deal with straps, but people do buy whatever size, twin size sheets and they use those straps that go under the bed. Um, so there's that option as well. So this is, this is what I use. I do recommend the, these ones from um, AB Lifestyles. I like them. I like that they're made for the Oliver. They fit real well and it makes it a lot easier to make the bed. They stay they stay on and they've washed up really, really well. They're super soft. Like I said, the more you wash, wash them. So so that is my video. I know you guys have been waiting a while for the bedding video. There's so many more videos coming out. We are going out next week and I promise you <laughs> we are going to make the garage storage video. Um, we can't make it now because we're kind of too close to the house to get in the storage. We got to pull the trailer out to do that. So we're going to make that next week. Um, we got chairs. We got camp kitchens. We got all sorts of good things coming up. So stay tuned. Thank you for your patience. I do appreciate that you like and subscribe. And if you have any other tips or things you'd like to see, if you have tips on bedding on, or bedding that you use, um, please comment below because we can all help each other. Um, we're, we're still learning too, so um, I love to see, hear your comments. I love to hear your suggestions, so if you have any, just put them down in the comments. And other than that, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you the next time.